Raising broilers was something that I always wanted to do. Uh, when I was about probably 10 or 11, just never got it out of my blood, so. I got a notice in the mail that I had a certified letter at the post office, so I went to the post office and picked it up, and it was a letter from the broiler manager saying that we'd been terminated, that they'd not, you know, they'd not be returning, not be placing birds back on the farm. You don't do anything, you don't say anything to rock the boat. Uh, most of the time it was a handshake when they got here and a handshake when they left. So now maybe you understand why a certified letter after 30 years uh, combined was uh, was kind of a shock. The financial impact, it's, it's just hard to describe because it was bribing Peter to pay Paul. My wife of 42 years, <laughs> She's just learned to live with it, but it, it changes you. At one time, there were four different farms between here and our other farm that were in distress or up for sale. So you talk about stress, there's, there's some stress besides the animals. You feel for the people. But at the same time, you also worry about, you know, am I going to be next? <laughs> 